Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 7 of my favorite series on the channel Tennis Hidden Chats You Surely Ignored In this series, we take a look at some of the rarest tennis moments and conversations that you might have missed or never heard of Before we get going, let's play a quick game If you see something new here, you drop a like But if you somehow saw everything before, you can leave a dislike guilt free Also don't forget to check out the previous episodes I'll leave the links in the description and without further ado Let's get started. Number 1. Vasek Pospisil cannot stop laughing due to some funny music being played outside the court. Going from center. Pospisil is still unhappy with the noise going on. Again, it's he demanded it's going on center court, but a, a few smiles between him and Kudla. Maybe a few dance moves coming in soon as well. Oh. Oh. Well, they may have practiced once Maybe or twice with a bit of music going on in the background, but. When it comes to play, it's rather the silence. It's not what they've got. Centre court blasting out the tunes. What's wrong with the song? He really is distracting Bosma still here. There's nothing that can be done. And this is just a bit too much room to handle. <laughs> oh, I understand that. Nothing I can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Really struggling to focus. <laughs> Number two. In the Milan exhibition between Nadal and Djokovic, Novak had a pretty funny moment with a lady from the crowd. Number three, Rafael Nadal's very risky courtside short change. At some point, Nick, but we thought it was Carreño Busta. Nadal's actually run into changes short, so I think this is what's going on here. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this before? This is a new one at just a minute shy of 3 a.m. This is like a Sports Illustrated swimsuit shoot. <laughs> and they put the towel around the model. And this is delighting the Brazilian crowd. <laughs> this is what they hang around for 3 a.m. Number four. Funny exchange at the net between a very, very young Roger Federer and Greg Rosetsky back in 1999. A confident, emphatic finish. And well played Greg Rosetsky, who's reinvented himself after Wednesday. What a difference a day off can have. His fourth final of 1999. And uh, really pushing him over at the end there. So pleases he with his win. Number five. Dominic team is smashing some poor man's phone in the crowd. Number six. Nicolas Almagro's crazy reaction just moments before losing to Nadal in one of the most humiliating matches in Grand Slam history. Avantage Nadal.
Number seven. A very I'm going to do it. Might as well do it properly. So a big pass now for Roddick, trying to get back in this third set, but having. Number eight. Roger Federer saving a little kid from getting crushed by the crowd. Even had the time to take care of a young fan who was in danger of being crushed by the crowd after the match. The five times champion asked the security guards to then come onto the court and then he signed an autograph on his cap. What a day for the little boy. A moment he'll never forget. Number nine. A very heated conversation between Andy Murray and Fabio Fonini due to Fabio's shouting midpoint. Six games to five. And you say the same to everyone. You say that, mate, you do the same in every match, doesn't matter who you're playing. So, so what happens when I had a volley on top of the net? He shouts, shut up. When I have a volley on top of the net, he shouts and then tells me, don't look at me. I'm like, you just shouted in the middle of your You're telling me stuff that I know. I understand. Yeah, but he's the one. You're not giving me any chance to deal with him. You're not giving me any chance to deal with him. I had a volley on top of the net. So, someone, yeah, someone made a noise. I didn't know who made the noise. I looked in the direction of where the noise came from. He then told me, stop looking at me. What are you looking at me for? And I was like, well, I had a, was just about to hit a shot and someone made a noise. He then was saying, telling me to stop looking at him, which normally when someone shouts in the middle of a point, this is pretty rare that that happens. Um, and then, yeah, he told me to stop complaining, to have a sense of humour that, you know, <laughs> when you have a volley on top of the net, you know, you're not going to miss it. And I was like, well, I know I'm not going to miss it, but I wanted to know where the noise, the sound came from. And it came from him, which you're not allowed to do. It's against the rules. It's hindrance. You shouldn't do it. But he said that I should have a sense of humour about that, and neither of us, I, I would say in that moment, neither of us were in sort of a joking, laughing kind of mood. Um, and that was, that was the issue that I had. I don't know what the, the rules with that are. I've never had it in a match, and I've played, I don't know, 800-odd matches on the tour. I've never had that happen. So I, I don't know what the, the situation with that is, but... Yeah, I mean, he wasn't saying anything to him, so I was, you know, I was obviously frustrated with that. He wanted to engage with me, uh, Fabio. Um, I probably shouldn't have done, but I'm not having him talk to me like that on the court. I mean, I seen it's it's like light. Maybe he can laugh it at all, but you know, he was so serious. Look at me. I know I I cannot understand that one because I was telling to the chair and pie that. Uh, this point is his point under 10 percent of the time so just try to do something i mean uh, i don't know i'll call funny or try to laugh in and he was look at me really serious so i lose my i lose a little bit my mind but i think in my opinion this kind of thing gonna rest on court and and that's it number 10 novak djokovic gives the fan his shirt and gets a cheeky little kiss from her in return Djokovic uh, conducting the crowd and certainly pleasing a few of them out there. Souvenir for some women. Kisses for both players. It's not a bad life, is it, being a, a tennis player? Number 11. Rafael Nadal's incredible accuracy aiming the ball at the commentary box. Oh yes! It's found its way in there. Chris Fowler was it, I think. Number 12. 
Tennis turns into football between Joel Fritzonga and Penwa Pear. Well, there we go. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's carry on. Oh, that's good skill. Look at this. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, he spoilt it. Well, France are the world champions. They are. And they're going well in the Women's World Cup as well. <laughs> but hang on a minute, we're in Germany. <laughs> Great spontaneity and the crowd absolutely loving it. Number 13. Nick Kyrgios throwing his racket outside the court in frustration after losing a very, very tight match. Oh. Pazzo, pazzo completamente. Pazzo. Sì, ma è pazzo. Completamente pazzo. Ma è pericoloso, eh. Ma c'è veramente tutta il genere gli spacchi la testa. Number 14. Cameraman falls over while trying to capture Nadal's famous pre-war mob run. <laughs> Jay Z man down. Number 15. Ryan Harrison rushing to help Marty Fish to prevent what could have been a very nasty fall. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant. Brilliant. Lovely scenes. Now these two are very good friends. You don't often see this. Uh, it reminds me, I think, uh, Wimbledon. It's simply invisible, au niveau de jeu de Novak Djokovic. 